Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of Chaos Craft, Lands of Legend. As always, Rock here. And so, we are continuing on from where we left off last time. Um, we didn't have a safe place to um, rest our head. Um, and as we're supposedly not supposed to build or uh, destroy in this area, I... Uh, which I think... Oh, hold on. We have mining fatigue anyways. We can't destroy, but uh, because we didn't, we weren't aren't supposed to build or destroy in here, I didn't want to set up a base in here uh, just to uh, play along with the rules of the map. So, we're kind of in a bit of a... Can I still break? Yeah, he cleared the effect. Perfect. Um, wanted to kind of a... Oh, piggy. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Come here. Hey, get over here. Skeleton. Pig. Pig more important. <laughs> Uh, uh, because of that, I'm uh, hoping. Oops. Hello. Hello. Uh, hoping we can find a relatively safe place that we can kind of call home for the time being. There's a lot of pigs around here. I'm uh, curious as to if there are natural spawns or um, they're actually part of the map. I don't know. Uh, but the, the, I think the main goal for today, ooh, look, at the, look at the goodies, <laughs> I think the main goal for today is to try to find a uh, relatively safe place that we can use as our um, primarily, um, primary base of action, um, just a place we can store all our stuff so we're not uh, over encumbered essentially this whole time, um, because if we die, uh, there's always that possibility that we're just going to not be able to recover our gear, and then we're going to lose everything, and that's not the most ideal, uh, realistically. Uh, so, I think today in general, um, the plan is to try to find a base of action. And I almost want to gather all this bamboo up, because uh, we could create a little bamboo farm uh, if necessary. Uh, that will give us a uh, renewable source of fuel, um, which is always fantastic to have. Uh, not that we couldn't harvest a lot of the wood that we're seeing around. I mean, we have this whole fort, fort of wood, and we have a whole ton of trees around and such like that. So I don't think fuel is going to be very problematic, which uh, we have bunch of cobblestone. Okay, we're good with that. Um, so I don't think fuel is going to be super problematic. Uh, um, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of extra, if need be. Not that we can't... Uh, not, that, not that we can eat it, but, I mean, extra fuel, free fuel, eh. Not the worst. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on. Okay. So let's work our way into this, what kind of looks like a fortress. Uh, see what it has in store for us. Uh, see if we can kind of uh, tame it. Um, at the very least. Um, I think we might be best in just getting, uh, nope, okay, no spawner there. Um, just getting torches down around spawners. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's a lot of hay bales. Um, those hay bales are going to be very important to us, at least at the, uh, initial phases of this map. Uh, this map uses a lot of barrels, but only in decoration. Uh, yeah, there'll never be loot inside. There'll, that... I don't think that's a word. <laughs> Should be there will. I guess I can see why there will would be a thing, but uh, I don't think that's actually a word. Um, there'll be no loot inside. I don't need to search inside them. Okay. So we can ignore barrels and not searching them. Um, oh. Okay. All right, all right. So barrels, we don't have to do any looking inside. Um, we'll 
keep looking at the... Ooh, that's a wither skeleton. Ooh. Ooh. That's always a, a nuisance to see early on. Um, not that we can't um, deal with it pretty easily just by uh, creating the uh, uh, barrier that's three tall, but... I mean, it is always a nuisance. Ooh, arrows. Um, we can clean out some of the stuff from our inventory that we're realistically never going to use. Mm. Bones I'll probably never use. Did I not see them? I could have sworn. Um, you know what? I'm going to take that. could have sworn... Oh, hello. Could have sworn I saw... Yeah, I can see it from here. The ender chest over there. Um, let's drop off this uh, this bedrock that we have. Um, oh, there's, there's stuff in there. Uh, oh! Drop off that bedrock. Um, because I would prefer not to lose that. If it's as important as um, is alluded to. Um, I prefer not to lose that. So, the rest of the gear, eh, we can lose it. <laughs> that uh, that bedrock piece, I would prefer not to lose. So, we'll, um, we'll go with that. But, um, I think we've, outside of this, um, these hay bales, which... I think are going to be super important for us. Um, outside of those, I don't think there's a whole lot else up in here. I mean, we can kind of peek around real quick just to double check. I think we're... Oh, there's a chest over there. What's in the chest? <gasps> Some more goodies. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm... Special potion and armor. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. The string would actually be good to keep for a bow. Uh, of course, there's different names for this. I'm going to drop that off. Um, put the pants on. Boots are good. Okay, we'll keep this situation as is. Um, we don't have a whole lot of arrows, eight, so I don't think making a bow at the moment is the most practical. Um, but we can continue to look through this. Um, I do see this ladder up here. Um, I'm definitely going to come back and gather all those hay bales uh, because we can create some really important food for our ourselves. Um, and by the amount of hay bales that we're seeing over there, we could probably create a ton of bread. Oh, there's a whole bunch of weed over here. Um, no, no, nobody, no hay bales over there. Let's just get some light down, just to make sure things are... Oh, hello. Make sure things are safe. And make them safe if necessary. Uh, that is a trap chest. Uh, uh, oh, oh, ho, ho! You don't say... You're trying to trap us. Well, if you if you aren't aware, I've been, I was born in CTM, raised by it. <laughs> I know CTM by the back of my hand. All the traps. Oh, look at all those spawn eggs. Well, I mean, if we're gonna take them, might as well. <laughs> A little bit of extra uh, potential XP if, if uh, need be. Um, since, uh, if I remember correctly from the books, we can't craft the crafting, t or not the crafting table, but the um, enchantment table. So, um, there may be situations where we need to do a little bit of XP farming. Um, I mean, it's not going to give us the hugest amount of XP, but it is an XP... Um, is an XP option. Um, hmm, I don't need that, so let's keep that. Uh, I mean, it is a relatively cheap form of food. 
something we can kind of replenish, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, oh. I could definitely use a better pick here in a second. Does it have efficiency? No. Okay, let's upgrade to a stone pick. Oh. ourselves up into the uh, the area where the uh, wither skeleton was, which I think is. Ooh. Did we grab that carrot? That would actually be. I think we had a carrot before. Yeah, we have two carrots now. Okay. So say pretty, pretty uh pretty decent uh, uh source of food supply here. Okay. Okay. All right. Ooh. I actually really like the look of that area. Um, this look. I am. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little bit of praise for the map maker. They seem to have done a. Uh, a really good job with the um, with the aesthetics of this uh, this map so far. Uh, I mean, we're only realistically out of the starting area and the uh, first area of the map uh, here. Um, but I mean, from what I've seen so far, I'm really liking the uh, the aesthetic uh, of this map so far. Uh, bravo, bravo! Looks really nice um, and seems. I mean, it's hard to say uh, in the grand scheme of things how the balance is of the map, but I'm really enjoying the balance of the map so far. Um, inventory is uber full at the moment. Um, this kind of looks like a building, which could be good for us. And I see that... Uh, Oh, baby. Forgot that was the thing. It's been a while. <laughs> um, that's spotter there. Nope. Drop that. Drop that. Uh, let's deal with the spawner. Okay. Um, so I think, generally speaking, we found ourselves a base um, or a safe safe place. Um, let's do this, do this, do this, just to pick up some of the stuff. Um, I think we found ourselves a base of operations here, which is actually really good for us, uh, because we didn't have a really a base, so if we die, we're going to be dropping all our stuff, we're going to be going back to the, uh, the spawn point, um, not a whole lot we can do, um, some of the stuff I just put in the chest, or as a barrel, but we can pick that up in a second. Um, kind of want to just make sure there's nothing in them, even though the map did tell us that there's not going to be anything in them. You can never be too careful. Um, so let's do this. Um, let's get um, a general base set up. Um, and... You know what? Uh, let's do this off-screen real quick, uh, because I know this is going to take some time to do some sorting and whatnot. Um, so let me get a general base set up and uh, we'll continue from there. So here. All right. So we are back. Um, got a base set, set up down there. Um, I did, because it's been so long since I've really done a, a video. What's this again? Still falling him in half. Ooh, okay. That's good for good for later. Um, because it's been so long since I've really done an episode, I um I had to <laughs> kind of look up on myself, um, what uh how my storage system was, because I really enjoyed my storage system before, but um, if I don't remember it, then that becomes a bit problematic. Um, 
I didn't go ahead and grab, uh, gather any of the, the resource, resources out here. Um, I think this will be something we do between um, uh, this episode and next episode. Uh, but for this episode, we'll kind of be exploring this area. Uh, just trying to see what we can find, what we can do. I know there was a bunch of resources that we uh, ran into that would be worth grabbing. Uh, if we haven't already grabbed it, uh, let's grab that potion. I think we're more or less halfway through the episode already, so I'm not going to get too in-depth on everything if we don't have to. Let's get rid of that. Hello. Hi, my friend. I, uh, I realize that my sword is going to break here soon. And it might be in my best interest to preserve it, but I think we're going to get a iron soon enough. So I'm not too worried about necessarily preserving this. I kind of want to... I kind of want to... <laughs> I kind of want to harvest all this. Look at all that goodies. Mm -mm -mm. I would rather all this. Though, with the amount of um, hay blocks that are over there, I'm not too necessarily worried about food. Um, once I... Oh. oh, well. That didn't work very, very well for the... Uh, that creeper. Uh, I mean, once I gather all that hay, I don't... I think I'm going to be too, um, in trouble with regards to food, which is always, like, a, a good sign for a CTM map when you're uh, not food-starved. I mean, there are situations where that is an interesting mechanic, um, but in the, the, the grand scheme of uh, CTM maps, uh, usually you're not wanting to starve the, uh, the player of um, stuff like food and whatnot, so... Unless it's a uh, prime mechanic of this map, then I mean, it makes sense to not starve the player too much of, uh, of general resources. Um, in, in fact, in a lot of cases, um, at least from my opinion, uh, giving the players the, um, the resources that they need is generally more preferred than uh, trying to starve them. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Not today, my friend. Not, not today. Um, okay. So, oh. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Uh, generally speaking, it looks like we've kind of... Uh, I think we're going to have to deal with that skeleton. Uh, generally speaking, it looks like we've kind of... Um, explore the, the majority of this. Uh. Um, so I don't think we're very far off from uh, having completed the, um, the starting area. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any blocks within this um, the general area itself. Uh, so it might be um, beneficial to kind of uh, explore the outer area, uh, see if there's any chests that we could potentially grab uh, that are for us, uh, uh, stuff like that right there, it looks, oh, and this right here, uh, oh, my sword, uh, looks like it could be beneficial to grab, um, oh, look at all that. All the goodies. Oh, oh, oh. and falling from the skies bring the power of the heroes of the shield. When an offhand, it's some knockback resistance, a two percent knockback resistance, and a one percent speed. Uh, not particularly the. Oh, oh boy. Pretty please, don't kill me. <laughs> oh, I hear another skeleton. I'm gonna wait here with in a the block form the blocking formation. Get the uh, the the healing effects going. Ooh. Ooh. 
goodness for shields. I tell you. <laughs> All right. Let's um let's investigate this uh this area. Um, I think this area in itself is going to be a effort for next episode. Um, I think we can kind of uh, gather up resources from our general starting area and whatnot for this episode. Um, and kind of go with that. Um, I mean, there's always plenty of resources to gather. Uh, I mean, ideally, uh, within the CTM and its starting area. Uh, so, let's see. We got a bunch of mushrooms. We got an extra sword, which is good. An expensive pick. A golden pick with mending. Ooh, that's actually really good. Um, mending is super easy to um, achieve uh, the requirements for. Um, if we're... Generally speaking, if we're using the pick purely for um, just breaking the spawners. Um, we should be able to get enough XP to um, repair the pick just off of breaking a spawner. Um, let's get the hell out of here. Um, if we're trying to use it for anything other than like spawner breaking and stuff like that, like uh, if we're trying to um, trying to break uh, just harvesting some cobblestone or whatnot, um, it's going to be super inefficient and it will break super fast. Um, but if we're trying to just, you know, break spawners and whatnot with a pick, then it's actually really good. I mean, even harvesting stuff like this coal um, is actually super... F oh, wow, there's a lot of... Oh, there's a lot of uh, skeletons. Um, even harvesting stuff like coal is actually super efficient um, when it comes to using a, like, a gold pick with mending. Um, so... I think this might be our general pick for a bit. Um, and uh, we can go from there. Um, we might have to swap it out, obviously, if we're trying to do any uh, general uh, type of mining. Uh, if we're just trying to harvest some, some cobble blocks and stuff, whatnot, then it's obviously an absolute garbage of, an <laughs> of a pick, but... Just trying to mine uh, resources like this coal, um, or breaking spawners and stuff like that. It's an absolute boss. So yeah, I think we're uh, we'll be uh, with the amount of food and such that is around, at least in the starting area. I'm hoping um, that we're gonna be relatively good in the long run. I mean, I realistically could harvest a bunch of this um, bamboo and such, and it would be a fantastic uh, st fantastic fuel source. Um, I don't think I'm realistically going to need to. Um, obviously, um, off-camera between this episode and episode, uh, next episode, I'm going to be doing a bit of work. Um, I'm going to be harvesting all of this hay bales, um, and probably a good amount of this wood, just so I have resources uh, for the future. Um, but, generally speaking, I think I'm going to be pretty good on the resource front. And, um... Yeah. Yeah! So... Oh, I need to get you out of here. Um... You... Feeling I haven't really investigated over here much. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's my thing. Um, okay, so there is some elements that I have not investigated into too much. Um, just make sure that um, I have been over there. Well, let's double check over here. Oh, hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. I see you're spawning. 
looks to be. <gasps> oh, hello. You appear to be <laughs> a world box. That was not what I was expecting. Um, okay, we have ourselves a wool. Fantastic. I was uh, actually not expecting to find a wool in this area. I mean, it's not surprising, but I wasn't expecting. I thought it was going to be kind of a initial, like, loop area type, uh, type area, and where you don't really find a whole lot. You just kind of get some general loots and stuff like that. Um, fantastic. That was actually... Far, far better than I was anticipating. And had I not done any uh, initial exploration there, I I really don't think I would have found that. <laughs> I probably would have found the, um, the orange bull and been like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the white bull? And then I would have had to come back and find this. So uh, that's actually uh, really good for us, and I probably should have over went over to the ender chest to, uh, drop off this white wool, and maybe I will between episodes, uh, but for now, um, let's put the white wool in here, um, and I think, I think we can kind of call it there for an episode, uh, we got a whole bunch of goodies, and again, there's a whole bunch of goodies that we can collect in the area that I think it's, it's more of an off-screen kind of thing. All that um, that wheat blocks or hay bales and all the um, oak blocks and stuff like that. So I think there's a bunch of stuff we can do off-screen. But I think um, for today, I think we made some pretty good progress. So uh, with that, I think we're going to have to call it there for today. Thanks for joining as always. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye!